the man of the hour, Hamlet himself, Tanner Alan Clayton. Thank you so much for joining us, Alan, and it's a pleasure to meet you. It's lovely to meet you too. It's a strange way to be meeting in front of a few folks, but it is a pleasure. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is when we're talking about different mediums for storytelling, in Shakespeare's play, Hamlet has a sort of slow burn as a character, but in this treatment, it, he's just absolutely a bundle of energy right from the very beginning, or at least the way that you portray him. It feels almost like an aerobic workout. I, how, how does this feel to you? Well, it's the only exercise I get, so <laughs> I need it. Um, no, it is, I think, because, you know, because singing words takes longer than speaking them. Yes. So we have to sort of get what we can across with, with the sort of the limited text we can take from the play. Right. And that's what's so great about what Matthew and, and Brett have done. Well, I agree completely. I mean, it's incredible the way the story is being told. And if an artist has ever inhabited a role before, it is you as Hamlet. Something that's really amazing about this, and I'm not sure that everyone knows this, but Brett Dean had you and your voice and your persona in mind for the title role before he even began composing the piece. What was it like being part of that process and creating this role from scratch? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. There's nothing more thrilling, you know. How many times do we wish we were in a rehearsal room we could say to Mozart, excuse me, Herr Mozart, why did you write that aria Every like that? time. Exactly. Right. So with this, we could do that. And we could say to Brett, that's amazing. You know, why have you done that and how? And it's, it's great. Right, well, I, it's, it's incredible. I haven't had that experience, but it's amazing to watch how this process has played out and turned into this masterpiece. In playing Hamlet, you're following the tradition of some of the greatest actors in history, so no pressure, right? Laurence Olivier to Benedict Cumberbatch. It's not an easy name to say. <laughs> Do you feel the weight of history when you are considering a role that is this epic? I don't think so, because I think the great thing about Hamlet is that he is any of us That's in right. any country in the world, any sex, gender, religion, it doesn't matter. And so being, being your own Hamlet is very easy. Um, taking on these words and making them yourselves is a, is a privilege. Well, I take it that means you didn't do a whole lot of study of any of these actors as you went on. Still did a bit of that. Tiny well. bit of yeah, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, for an actor, I think that playing Hamlet, as you say, can be considered the pinnacle of the career. How does this role feel to you in the grand scheme of what your career has been thus far. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> this is it, I've got nothing left. Well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> One more show here and that's, that's it. Um, no, I, it's great. I mean, it, I probably will never do anything harder, anything m longer in terms of the role. I mean, as you say, it's, it's sort of vocally and dramatically, it's everything. It's, you know, there's nothing left out uh, right. on stage at the end. So. I never thought I'd say that Peter Grimes is an easy sing, but compared to this, it is. So, well, yeah. interestingly enough, Peter Grimes is, in fact, something that we are lucky to have you here with us for next season, and I am very excited to see that as well. Alan, I thank you so much for taking time during Thanks your so break. Congratulations on this unbelievable and unforgettable portrayal, and I wish you uh, all the energy for the rest of this. Thanks. <laughs> thank you <laughs> Thanks so, so much. much it's a pleasure.